Here is the all new Lenovo Legion 5 Slim with AMD Ryzen 7 CPU and RTX 4050 with 6 GB of VRAM. Let's dive in deep into the features, build, specifications of this laptop and find out in this video what's new in this laptop and answer to questions like what's so special about this model, how does it compete with the Intel i7 13th gen and most importantly is it worth buying? Starting off with what's new, this model has about the same signature Legion look which some people feel is boring and outdated but I personally still love the classic and unique Legion look. However, it has a bit of new design in the air exhaust grills on the back sides. It comes in strong grey color and has a metal top plate with polycarbonate body which feels quite premium to feel. It has no keyboard flex at all thanks to its metal top plate but we can see a fair bit of keyboard flex on it. Also, the screen wobble is a bit more than usual in this unit. But it does have stable hinges with the screen going back to full 180 degrees for sharing which enhances its use in versatile positions. It has the same classic Legion logo on the top plate and some Lenovo logos here and there. It has a full sized keyboard with 4 zones of RGB whose effects can be cycled through function plus space bar keys and also in the Vantage software. It has a decent key travel of 1.5mm which makes typing experience really great. It has full sized arrow keys and numpad and not cramped like MSI or Acer which makes it one of the best keyboards there is. It has a decently big trackpad with multi gesture support and is very smooth to use. It has vents on the top of the keyboard as well which further helps in reducing the temperatures. It has the classic Legion power button on the top which changes light according to the performance profile. Red being the performance mode, white being the balance mode and blue being the silent mode. It has dimensions of 35.9 cm by 26 cm by 2.5 cm and weighs around 2.4 kg. Okay, this laptop is named Legion 5 Slim and clearly it is not slim at all and is just regular Legion sized. A bit of misleading branding from Lenovo side. It has rounded corners all over which makes it very convenient to carry around. It has big air intake vent on the bottom with big rubber grips that provide ample lift to the laptop for air circulation. It has thin bezels with even the chin being thin due to the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Talking about which, it has a 16 inch IPS anti-clear panel with a native resolution of 1920 by 1200 which is basically a full HD screen and an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 which means more screen real estate. It has peak brightness of 300 to 350 nits and a color gamut of about 100 sRGB with 144 Hz refresh rate and 10 milliseconds response time and a contrast ratio of 845 by 1. It also has a 4060 variant which offers a 2K screen, 165 Hz refresh rate and is Pantone certified. The rest of the screen specs are the same. All in all, it's a good screen with ample colors and refresh rate for a great user experience. Talking about the ports, it has well distributed two USB Type-A ports and two USB Type-C ports. On the left side, it has two USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, both of which support DisplayPort 1.4 and gives an output of 4K 60Hz. And the one on the right has PD charging support up to 140W and it has one audio mic combo jack. On the right side, it has one full-size SD card reader which is great for creators but has very low speeds. Also, it has one privacy shutter that physically disconnects the webcam from the motherboard which is great for privacy nowadays. The rest of the ports lie on the back side with two USB type A 3.2 Gen 2 ports of which this one has always on functionality, one RJ45 Ethernet port, one HDMI 2.1 port and one charging jack. Legion has always had the best port selection and placement giving both type A ports on the back side for a cleaner setup and two USB type C ports instead of one. But I feel that they should have given at least three USB type A ports and a USB 4 port since it is an AMD laptop and it would have gotten full marks. But hey, it's not a perfect world. Talking about the other features, it has a MUX switch with Advanced Optimus. It comes packed with MS Office 2001 Lifetime Activated. It has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.1. It has an 80 watt hour battery which gives a good battery backup of 6 hours of regular usage and 1.5 hour of gaming, which is better than any Intel laptop with similar specs as AMD always have had better battery performance. It comes with 170 watt charger that can charge the laptop up to 50% in 30 minutes. It has two speakers of 2 watt each that sound good. It has a 1080p webcam. It comes packed with LA1 chip which is basically an AI performance director of this laptop which shifts the performance modes according to user need without them even needing to change any setting. 
Talking about what's inside, this laptop comes packed with AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS with 8 cores and 16 threads, RTX 4050 with 6GB of VRAM and 100W TDP with support of both G-Sync and FreeSync, 16GB of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5600MHz and it comes in dual channel and it has a 512GB Gen 4 NVMe. I ran some performance benchmarks on this laptop and here are the results. Cinebench R23 scored 16989 in multi-core and 17 10 in single core performance. Geekbench scored 2314 in single core and 10,980 in multi core performance. 3D Mark Time Spy scored 9,580 overall, 9,196 in GPU, and 11,806 CPU score. If you look closely, these scores are very close to Intel i7 13620H, so clearly this laptop is a much better option. I ran some gaming benchmarks on this machine under these test conditions, and here are the results. As you can see, this laptop held its own in all these AAA titles giving more than playable FPS in all these games. For a laptop worth 1 lakh, it performs as expected. If we compare the results with Lock i7 13620H, it's about the same. There are only marginal differences between the two. Also, the temps were really well managed with no instance of temps crossing 90 degrees. So I think buying a laptop with Ryzen 7 CPU is a better option as the performance is about the same as the i7 13 gen and you get better Legion brand than the Lock series, better ports and screen than the Lock and at a better price. And most importantly, battery performance of Ryzen series is far better than that of Intel series. Talking about the upgradability, it has decent upgrade options with two RAM slots of 16 GB each, giving it a total of 32 GB, two M.2 slots of 2280 COM factor of Gen 4 NVMe, and one upgradable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. It comes with its own performance customization software known as the Lenovo Vantage software, which provides a lot of options like thermal profiles, MUX switch, overdrive mode, RGB control, and general device controls of which I have made a full length video. Check it out to know everything about the Lenovo Vantage software. Talking about the price, at the time of making this video, this laptop was priced at about 1 lakh but it is available at a much better deal at Premier Laptops exclusive Lenovo store in Ludhiana. They have got a great staff to help understand your needs and suggest the laptop accordingly and they also do worldwide shipping. Do check them out before buying, contact details in the description. In conclusion, I would say that purchasing this laptop with Ryzen 7 processor is a great deal to consider as for the price of 1 lakh you get a top tier legion series with great screen great ports great specifications and the performance that beats even the intel i7 and i can wholeheartedly endorse this laptop if you like the review please like the video dislike if you didn't tell me about it in the comment section and consider subscribing for more videos like this